So now your feet are attached. Things that you need to look for. Um, I went over every single one of my feet, making sure it has a closed 90 degree edge. I even nicely rounded off the tops of mine. Um, but you can see there's no opening gap on any of my seams. They are located in the correct placement, placing it in about a quarter inch. Um, I'm going in past that overhang to support the walls. Um, now, you can even give it a nice little snug to see if they're not moving anywhere. These do have a tendency to fall off, so you wanna make sure they are attached well. Now, this is what I showed you just doing the circle feet. Now, there's another foot that some of you chose. How you're going to construct that, placement is still at the same place. You're going, counting in for that overhang, you're going into about a quarter inch so that you can place those um, that support on that walls. Now, you will be placing, just like we built that miter, we built that, uh, excuse me, just like we built that flange, we built that flange on the sheet of paper, <coughs> stacking the like Lincoln logs, you'd be doing the same thing. Cutting on the 45, but again, I'd rotate so that I could cut it. Um, and you're slipping and scoring it the exact same way like you did with the flange. Um, and how I attached my foot, I scored it, um, but instead of touching, uh, attaching them one at a time, uh, when you make the square foot, it's going to be attached all at once. Um, but still, you have to get in with that 90 degree edge on the inside as well as the outside. Um, at this point, you are done. Uh, what I would like you to do, um, if you have it all good craftsmanship, you can see that your seams are closed. We are going to wrap it up in damp just around the outside just to maintain the temperature of the clay. Um, but you are going to be storing it on the actual lid. You just attach these so you don't want to um, flip it over or dent them. They might not be strong enough. If you had to roll them out again today, um, they'll be too soft. So I'm gonna give these a day of rest before I can actually turn it upright. Um, so you're gonna wrap it up, bag it, Put away for next class. Next class, we are starting our tiles, um, but you want to make sure you got your flange and feet attached by the end of class.